lovely couple of weeks uh, I am in the shop I thought I would do a little bit of a different background today normally I'm in front of the fabrics and the sample rail but I thought I would stand in front of the patterns um, just because I thought I'd mix it up a little bit also it's quite noisy outside the shop it's the middle of half uh, middle of the summer holidays uh, so there's lots of things going on in the courtyard and the cafe outside and everything which is absolutely fantastic and it's so lovely to see people obviously after the 18 months that we've all had um yeah it's really nice but it does mean it's a little bit noisier so sorry if you can hear a bit of background noise and obviously i'm in the shop so that does mean there might be a bit of background noise from the girls and from customers coming in and out but yes um how are you all i was thinking earlier when i was getting ready to film I don't really, I haven't really chatted to you guys that much for ages. I think at some point a couple of people said that my videos were a bit long and um, I felt like I should cut them down and just not chat very much. But I quite like chatting and I quite miss chatting to you guys. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, weave in a little bit more chatter into some of these. I think this video will be a little bit longer than some of my other ones anyway, because I've got this to show you and um, the five patterns and five fabrics um, that I want to pair together and share with you. So yeah, but I hope you're all doing really good. I think that was what I was thinking about this morning because I was pondering, we are mid summer now, um, mid August and Although I've just mentioned about people being outside and things kind of feeling a little bit normal, little bit more normal, I still don't feel like this is a normal summer. I don't feel like this is a normal um, year, full stop. And yeah, I'm just interested to know what you guys think. Normally we have a really, really quiet June. Um, and I know a lot of my counterparts in the same industry also have a very quiet June quite often and um, over the last four years I've called it the June of Doom but this year we didn't have a June of Doom we are however ever having an August of Doom and I think it's just because everyone is still kind of trying to adjust to what's going on um, it's obviously the summer holidays but not many people can go abroad a lot of people are going away in this country um, the weather has been so up and down um, I've just come back from a week camping, um, which was lovely. The girls are off on holidays um, and things. So yeah, I think this summer just feels a little bit weird, um, if I'm honest. And I know that kind of routine wise, I don't feel like I'm kind of back on top of everything where I was before the whole COVID situation started. But then life is very, very different um, as it is now to where it was a year and a half ago. So yeah, I suppose that is my ramble for the day. Um, just thinking about how things are. But we are all really good here and we are um, all very well and we're loving being back. The studio is like fully open upstairs. We've been doing so many classes. We've got loads more classes coming up. Lots of dates up now from, I mean, we've even got dates up for classes in November, December. Um, so yeah, we're all really good. I think we're just kind of feeling our way and working out what's what. Um, so I hope you're all really good too. Right, without further ado, shall I show you what I'm wearing? Because I love this. This is probably one of my favourite makes ever. Um, and I feel a bit bad saying that because I didn't make this. The lovely Naomi, one of my teachers, um, made this for me as a sample. And I'm not gonna lie, it hasn't lived at the shop yet because I love it so much. I wear it all the time. This is a Lyra dress. So let me show you. It's a Tilly and the Buttons Lyra. Um, you can see the pattern. You've got like a maxi option and then a shorter option. This one we made a couple of adaptations to, which I'll show you. It is sewn up, if I grab this one, in this utterly beautiful art gallery rayon, which is called Posy Blaze. We've got a little bit of this in stock still, um, and it is stunning. I love it. I think I've shown it to you on here before. I think I showed you in a make some plans video before this one was made. And I wasn't sure whether it would be too much in this dress, but it's not, I love it. Right, so let me, I'm gonna stand, there's a step here. So I'm gonna try and stand on this and show you what it looks like. Um, 
what I will show you actually before I do, I'll show you up close. So you've got this soft collar. Um, it does have a collar stand underneath it, but obviously because of the nature of the fabric, it's got a very light interfacing in the collar and the collar stand, sorry, and the button um, placket and the collar stand. And it's so lovely. We've used the Atelier Brunette buttons. I'm hoping you can see those. Uh, really stunning, really pretty, really finished the dress off beautifully. It has got a little waist tie, um, and I apologise because I've been wearing this all day, so it's slightly uh, crumpled, but still I think looks really lovely. And then we've got the three quarter length sleeves as well. Sorry, uh, customers in. So I was showing you the sleeve. Now there's a option for a short sleeve that's cut and hemmed straight like this, um, or there's an elasticated uh, cuff full length sleeve, which uh, we actually decided to do a three quarter length because I knew um, I don't really wear full length sleeves even in the depths of winter. And uh, because it's elasticated, I knew what I'd probably do is pull it up to elbow length and have a little bit of blousing, which is what I tend to do. But to check how long I wanted to make it, I just measured down from my uh, shoulder point and then uh, gave Nomi the measurement ready for sewing up. So I really like that. Um, and then let me stand <laughs> very precariously on this stool uh, because we have adjusted the length slightly. Ooh. So um, let me stand up, I'm gonna chop my head off and still talk to you. Whoop, there we go. So I have got it pretty much to knee length. I'm gonna be very careful turning around because I'm on quite a narrow stool but you can see it's lovely and swishy and I'm not sure if you can see there are two tiers here so I've got the waist seam here with this little tie belt around it um, and then a tier from the waist seam down to here and then another tier from there to there so um, I'm going to get off the stool and show you or explain to you what we've done but hopefully that gives you an idea and also if I untie this tie you can see lots of room in there if I pull that in that's kind of my natural uh, waist but there's lots of room which is why I pretty much only wear it tied up and I know in the um, on the pattern picture they have the tie at the front but I always have the tie at the back yeah, I always have the tie at the back. So there's plenty of room still, but it just gives a little bit of de definition on the waist. Oh, let me come down. There we go. <laughs> um, so to do the tiers, all we did is take the uh, knee length dress version uh, and then added on a little bit for seam allowance and split it in half. So instead of having just one long, longer tier that's just knee length, we um, cut it into two, but added a little bit extra for seam allowance so that um, it wasn't super, super short. But I just thought I'd get more wear out of that than the maxi version. But I really like the fact that the maxi version has got a couple of tiers. So um, yeah, a few minor, very simple, um, adjustments and like I say I wear this all the time and I really really want to make another one um the other thing to note my measurements on this put me in between an eight and a ten so two and a three tilly size but I went with the eight because I know there's a lot of ease um and you can see when I held it out how much ease there actually was so um yeah this gives a nice um, shape but still loads of room I think if I'd done the 10 it would have been a little bit big on the shoulders it might to be honest be a smidge big on the shoulders anyway probably on the next one bring it in a centimeter or so do a narrow shoulder adjustment but yeah I really love it it is beautiful um, and I'm so happy with it I hope you guys like it uh, but I always find it really helpful to see patterns sewn up and that's why obviously I try and show you all the makes. I've got a couple of pictures of some of the um, girls in the shop's makes as well to show you later on in this video. So um, I'll try and make sure we throw in as many of those as possible in the vlog and you can obviously look back at previous makes as well. 
that's that one right what i actually wanted to do the video on today was five fabrics five patterns i know you guys find it really helpful um and a lot of you say you get inspiration from seeing how i pair the patterns and fabrics together and um i'm gonna do that with the five that i've picked out for you today the first one that i want to show you is the avid seamstress sheath dress so we've been stocking the avid seamstress patterns for years um, and i think one of the reasons I try and stock a really wide range of different pattern companies is because they all have a different aesthetic and different styling and different shapes and I think that it's really important because not all not one pattern company doesn't work for everybody um, but I do really like the other seamstress patterns and I do feel like they're very versatile so this is the sheath dress you can see it's got um, quite a simple shape with an elasticated waist. It's a really good beginner um, pattern, but it's also just a nice one to make up if you just want something quite simple. And I loved the pattern envelope styling. So I wanted to pair it with something kind of similar um, along the kind of summery vibes with this kind of almost like tile effect. So this is a viscose. You want something quite drapey and soft for the sheath dress to show that you, um, the blouse effect is quite uh, soft and drapey, not too structured. And this does that. This is called Daisy Pink Viscose and it is beautiful. Look at those colours. Love that. It does, it has that almost like Santorini tile effect. And actually today when I'm filming this, it's really sunny. So we might get a summer after all here in the, um, I shouldn't say here in the UK, but obviously I can't speak for everyone, but here in Southern England, it's been pretty much a washout for the last month or so. Um, yeah, so that's that one. Love those. So if you are somewhere where it's not so sunny on the day that um, you're watching this, I also, I have shown you this one before, but I just so love it and I really, really want to get time to make it. Um, I have picked out the Mylan sweatshirt by Closet Core Patterns. I particularly love this crossover version. Um, I'm almost tempted to do a mixture of the two, like a crossover version without the hood, because I think I would get quite a lot of wear out of that. Um, but then there's also this cropped version. Again, drop sleeve, super snuggly, really easy to throw on, but also quite stylish. And you guys know, I love Atelier Brunette fabrics. And we have got this beautiful uh, sweatshirting. So it's 95% uh, cotton, a bit of spandex in, nice bit of stretch. And it is so soft, like the inside is almost like brushed fleece back and it's so cozy, but it's not super, super heavy. It is a really nice transitional weight. So you could use it for kind of um, autumn, spring, and then layer it up in the winter. Really, really love that. And I think it would look beautiful as uh, a Marlene sweatshirt. So that's those. I thought I should do this at the end. <laughs> Um, then going on to another, I'm just going to put this posy blaze back on the shelf, this one, uh, going on to another jersey pattern, but back kind of into summery, um, but again, maybe a little bit transitional because of the colours. This is the Westcliff dress by Friday Pattern Company. There is a maxi version, as you can see, and then there is a short version here. It's got a wrap across the top. It's a faux wrap um, and A-line skirt. And as you can see, this you've got this version and then they've got a pattern piece in there to add on another tier. So like I was saying, tiers are very popular um, so that you get the maxi version. And I think that's really nice for, um, you know, there's a lot of maxi dresses in the shops at the moment for summer. And again, when the weather isn't great, they're quite nice to wear because you're still feeling quite breezy. Um, but you've got a little bit more covering. And this fabric that I chose, I love the colours. Again, maybe slightly holiday inspired, I think. Sorry, I'm just taking the pins out. This one. So this is a cotton jersey. It's called Sophia Sunflower Cotton Jersey. Um, and it's got these kind of oranges and yellows and blues. Look at that. 
it's a really lovely weight, nice bit of a covering, it pings back into shape, feel really soft in a dress, um, and it wouldn't cling either, which is always my favourite thing about um, cotton jersey. Um, yeah, really nice one, and I think that, sewn up in that, would go really nicely. So that's my suggestion for those two. So the next one I want to show you is, uh, it's another Friday Pattern Company pattern actually, but I am a bit of a Friday Pattern Company fan girl at the moment. Um, it's called the Avenir Jumpsuit and it is for uh, woven fabrics. It's suitable for like confident beginners. Um, you can definitely tackle this if you've sewn up a couple of uh, dresses. It's really simple. It's got um, raglan sleeves, elasticated neckline, elasticated waist. You can wear it, um, you can see here where you've got this elasticated neckline. You can wear it off the shoulder if you want to or have it tucked up like that. Wider legs, not too much fitting. Really, really nice one. Um, Jackie, who works in the shop, has actually sewn up an amazing version of, of it in one of our art gallery fabrics. I'm going to pop a couple of pictures up um, so you can see, but it looks fantastic and I really, really love it. So I wanted to share those with you um, because it's not one that I've seen that often, but it's one we've stopped for a little while and I know it's quite popular. So yeah, I wanted to show you um, Jackie's amazing make and then um, give you another fabric idea to pair it with, which is actually, um, so we do have a little bit of that fabric that Jackie made it in, in stock. And then I wanted to show you another option in an art gallery rayon, because this one is so beautiful. Um, it is called Summer Dress Dreams. Um, and as always with the art gallery rayons, like this one, like the one that Jackie's used for that jumpsuit, it is such lovely quality. It feels so soft and smooth and silky. Um, it drapes wonderfully. The colours and the prints are really vibrant. You guys know how much you can see a little sneak of them there. You know how much I love the art gallery rayons. They're just, um, yeah, they're pretty unbeaten in quality. And this one has been washed three or four times um, and it's still really lovely and I expect it to stay that way. So um, yeah, this one I picked because Lucy in the shop at, or in the office has also um, made a jumpsuit. She used the Zadie um, pattern, which I think is paper cut uh, off the top of my head. So it's not one that we sell because it's PDF only. But I'll pop a picture of her in this fabric in her jumpsuit because I saw the two and thought, aha, this would work beautifully with this. So that's that pairing. Um, please someone do that and send us some pictures. And then the final one I'm going to show you is one of the newer um, Atelier Brunette cotton gauzes. Really lovely summer fabric. Um, nice and crisp. Feels nice and soft though, even though it's crisp. And I just really like the print on it. It's got a really kind of cool... Um, yeah, kind of cool aesthetic. Really like it. It comes in another colourway as well. I think I showed you these in a video a little while back. Um, maybe the last one I did. And I just love them. They're really, really nice. Really nice to work with. Presses really well. Does as it's told. Um, but feels really, really high quality. And I've paired this with the Megan Nielsen carry dress. So I thought it was quite a nice dress. Um, to, to wear but it's also a nice dress to make up sorry I lost my words then nice dress to make up because you've got these lovely interesting panels um, and I think that print you could cut into that and have all those panels and it wouldn't be um, kind of affected so I thought that would pair really nice it's got such lovely shaping this kind of open back detail at the top there really really lovely so I would pair that one and that one so I don't know how long this video will have been, um, but I have loved showing you the fabrics and patterns and chatting to you and showing you my new dress. Um, I have got a couple of sewing days in this week to try and catch up on some of the other ones that I have um, already cut out and started sewing. I've got my Anna dress um, on the sewing table, partially sewn up. I've got my Hannah top, both of those are in double gauzes. Um, so I will definitely get round to 
finishing those and then come back to show you them. Uh, but for now, I hope you'll have a really, really lovely week and I will catch up with you again really soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you.